month when we introduced you to Ian Griffins of Griff's Grab and Go. Yeah, he keeps a supply of things in his front yard for people in need to take as they need. But shortly after our story aired, the city of Fargo issued him a cease and desist letter. But he's not shutting down. In fact, now he says he'll be able to help even more people. As Valley News team's Reed Gregory explains. We get cleared out pretty much every day. For the last month, Ian Griffin has been giving back to those in need by giving them a chance to take what they need. Basically, people come and they donate household items, hygiene items, clothes, baby items. His setup in his front yard on 14th Street has seen a steady trickle of customers. That is, however, until the city of Fargo served him with a cease and desist letter. By September 11th, uh, they want all the donations out of the yard, the tent out of the yard, the signage down. Griffin says the notice came as a shock after learning about the reason behind it. The city was mainly okay with it for a while until somebody complained. However, a silver lining may be behind it all, as Griffin's main mission has always been to help those in need. Someone answered the call to help him. Well, Jeremy here had reached out to me yesterday uh, and offered me a space. Uh, we have a parks and rec building that we operate out of and there's also a food pantry there on Tuesdays. So we operate upstairs and we'll be able to give him space to use that as well. And as far as his feelings towards the individual who submitted the initial complaint, well, Griffin believes everything happens for a reason. At this point, I would almost thank them. It helped me more in one day with one letter than I've been able to do in a month. So thank you. In Fargo, Reed Gregory, Valley News Live. Griffin says he's also grateful for all the donations he's seen so far and looks forward to moving and continuing to serve those who need help. This story came to us through our whistleblower hotline. If you need help with an issue where you are, you can call the number two. It's on your screen, 732-1700.